Today's adventure brings me to downtown Atlanta. I am back. My 10th year. I will be attending Dragon Con as the recording of this Thursday, August 31st, 2023. It would have been my 11th year, 2020. It did not happen. So this is my decade anniversary of my favorite convention. Now there will be a few days and lots of different activities that will be taking place. This I would say would be one of the more mellow days. Picking up the badge, a little Dragon Con wrestling later in the evening, surveying the app and just seeing what the schedule is going to be like during the duration of my weekend. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. First attended in 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 didn't happen, 21, 22, and 23. Double the five, that makes 10. My 10th year, I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Staying really close to Centennial Park. They have the Olympic symbol down below here on the water. I'm gonna walk over to the registration hotel, which I believe has changed names. I'll check this out. This is my Dragon Con 2023 headquarters right here. I never knew the Circle K was the headquarters. To remember that. You know, they might have won me over with that sign out front because getting coffee when you're at the host hotels, which is like a block or two from where I am, is pretty intense. So this might be a good go-to. There's no one in here. All right, it begins. The guy with the trombone is kind of kicking it off, I guess, if you will. Right over there on the corner. All right, it's now called the Portland Grand. All right, the excitement is in the air. The line stretches over there. All right, I just checked. It is noon right now, 12.09 a.m. I'm getting my badge. Walking through this little food court area here at the newly named hotel. Getting in line. And it is a little warm in here, to be honest. <laughs> Ah, this is where the line is congregating. Yeah, it has to easily be 100 degrees on this room. I've been waiting in line probably, I would say 40 minutes. A lot of people have fans. Yeah, the fan would have been a good call instead of instead of coffee. Now they do have a paper guide map. Thank you. You're welcome. So we have a couple different programs here. So I just usually will use the app. It's just a lot easier than carrying around the big book. But it's kind of neat that they still have the physical copies. All right, let's see if there's a merchandise line anywhere. Oh, right over here. Just me. I do like how they have different merchandise each year. I am wearing my throwback virtual year from 2020 that didn't happen. That's the only year I wasn't here since 2013. All right, I thought the line was really short for merchandise. However, this is the line for merchandise. So I might get, I might get some of the merch a little later in the weekend. I am now official into year number 10 for me. Dragon Con, got the lanyard. I am wearing the one year since I've been going here that did not happen. The Dragon Con goes virtual, which was the, the year that it didn't happen. Let the games begin. <laughs> this is when downtown becomes crazy Atlanta. One thing I really like is the app itself where you can go on and go to events. It'll show, so starting at 9, it's 1 now, so it gives you exactly when you're at. So this is for today, which is Thursday, and you can just scroll through here. So I have the opening ceremony highlighted for my, myself, and I've also got a little later 
the Dragon Con wrestling. So I'm just going to kind of pan through each day, and you can use your finger and so you know, let's say I wanted to, to watch the So You Want to Be a Puppeteer. I'm not going to go to that one, but yeah, you just put that in and it dumps it right into your schedule. But happening right now over at the Hyatt is the Loyal Order of the Ribbon meetup, discussion, and Q&A. Go get some ribbons. It's a big thing. Here. Was it, what's the line? The Lamentation of the Women? The Lamentation yes. of the Women. That's right. Come on, That's do right. it. <laughs> I love it. The crushing the enemies is good. Wash them driven before you butt. The lamentation. The lamentation of the women. This is just a pickup badge day. Do a few things. Survey the area. Look at everyone checking in with their cosplay over there. Look at all. Look at all of this. Check-in day. It's so interesting when you go somewhere for a decade every year you really feel like you're home for just that weekend. Hello. How's it going? Hi. Uh, program. No, one way out, one way out, one way out, one way out. Good to see you again, Nolf. Shoulder pass. Oh, I can't pass? All right, thank you. Thank you, Gandalf. Appreciate that. Thank you. It's Adam LaRue. I need to oh, no. Adam LaRue. Yeah. I'm going to snap into a Slim Jim. You got the Slim Jim there, too, right. Macho Man. Right here. That's, what, that's how the Macho Man does it. All right. One, two, three, count. You know what I had earlier? What'd you have? A cup of coffee. A cup of coffee with a cup of coffee who had cream. <laughs> cream with the crop. Of the crop, why? Because the cream always rises to the top. Bravo, bravo! Oh, <laughs> love it. Now, I am in an area I have never been in before, which is kind of unusual right down here in the International Tower. Look at all the ribbons that are there on the, her, uh, what do you call that? Cape. Yeah. Heading into the International Ballroom North, where the Royal Order of the Ribbon Meetup is going. The Royal Order of the Ribbon Meetup is in here. Look at this. This is a beehive of activity in here. So basically, it's a big trading session. Everyone has ribbons, and they are trading them for other people's ribbons. Sometimes. Sometimes you get some folk that give you ribbons. Yeah, I ended up was given this Guardians of the Galaxy Epcotters. What do they call us? Ep Epcotteria. Epcotterans. Yeah, this thing is not even gotten into full swing yet. I mean it's pre-full swing. And I've already got I've already got some good ones. I gotta start picking and choosing more than I add on to this. I don't want this thing to be dragging on the ground. I got some good ones though. That ribbon is better than my ribbon. Please go ahead, take whatever you want. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we, we gladly I'm have it. And one thing's for sure, if nothing else, you can always get laid at Dragon Con. You don't like Pluto? No. You're not into Pluto? What did, what did Pluto do to you, Mickey, that scarred you? So dramatically, you hate him. Yes. So you look, you're taking a bite at him there with the with the teeth there. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a voodoo doll. It's a voodoo doll, also. Wow. You got some uh, some some inner hostility, Mickey. It's good to see you, though. You too. <laughs> it's good to see you, buddy. I love you. <laughs> Also, it should be noted that today, being one of the milder days, the vendor room is not open today, nor is the celebrity autograph room. Oh, it looks like it's this trooper's day off over here. Yep, it's his day off. Enjoy your day off, trooper. And fancy meeting these two in the, lo what is it, the loyal? Fancy meeting you. What's the name of the, the ribbon? Loyal Order of the loyal Ribbon? Of ribbons. Outrageous. Yeah. yeah. Tampa J, Chris the girl. I am documenting your first ribbons so far. Pun intended. Pun intended and mystery science theater. Thank you. I like that one there. Yeah. Showing the corn. Yeah. 
Nice. Thank there you, you so much. So those are little tiny pickles? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll take I one. It. I like pickles. All right. Thank you. There you go. I appreciate it. This is like a teeny tiny ribbon, a pickle. Look at that. Is it dill or is it sweet? It's every pickle is dill. There's no such thing in my mind as sweet pickles. I don't that's know, man. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm, I made this some is a good one here. Found it. That's true. Everybody does ask where Waldo is. Where's Waldo? But no one, no one asks how is Waldo. How are you, Waldo? Well, we know where you are. I mean, you're pretty obviously right here. But now, now we know how you're doing. How's Waldo? Now we know. I mean, I got my badge. Yeah. All right, I got some droids over here. I'm gonna call you out. What have I done? Tell me what I've done. Oh yeah, okay. You know what I've done. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know. You know. My, you know what I've done. I've done nothing, sir. I have yeah, done no, nothing. you've done some facts. I've done some facts. <laughs> Oh, he's on. He's actually moving. Hey, dude, can I get a selfie with him? Is that? He's like, nope, no selfie for you. Let that guy go. Let him out of here. Oh, that's up. I think he's okay. Kicking it off. Friends, James Musk did not to NASA. James has a mission on the International Space Station that James must arrive at him. That James will find Max and then proceed through the space station. Oh, right there. That's uh, they're double jointed there. A little some calisthenics, if you will. Out. 
they, they turn on them so quick. I feel like it's appropriate to start off the first meal here at Dragon Con with Yami Yami Sushi. A sushi bar that you pretty much have to sell a kidney to afford. But it's worth it. It's tradition, right? Yeah, it's tradition. We gotta yeah. get some yummy yummy. So overpriced sushi, but you know what? When in Rome. It's worth a hundred bucks. When in it's like well almost. I guessed pretty accurately that I was gonna spend forty dollars. Thirty-eight fifty-two. Whoa. I do whatever you well, I also got this Dasani because I needed my fill of salt. What'd you get? I got all a conglomeration of yeah. sushi, noodles. Wow, you did it right. I just got She sushi. went light. Yeah, yeah right. I went light. Yeah. I think it, that's probably a good hack though because adding the seaweed salad and the noodles it's and the potatoes weight. weighed it down. Yeah. I should have just gone straight sushi. <laughs> Next time. Oh, we got miniature FedEx John Shrine down here. Look, he's wanted right up there on the side. Right here in his normal spot, his miniature FedEx John. Yeah, he is like, that's the teeny tiniest John, FedEx John. He's back, but he's miniaturized. That's a been shrunken. The shrine has begun of what is someone finally put a John. It's basically just a big pile of garbage, yeah. just to be honest. Yeah. I think that's where he Let's call it a shrine. Yeah, there you go. Amazon Prime suspect. Not his original point of ascension. Oh. His original point of ascension is on the other side where the FedEx box is. Back over in the Hilton now. Get the dinosaurs rolling through here. Carpet as well. Dragon. It's a parade of inflatable cosplayers. So when we get to that part, when the munchkins come in, I'm going to cue you, and you are going to start singing Follow the Open Road, okay? Ask the Wizard of Oz for a heart. Hermes. Well, suppose the wizard wouldn't get me one in the Oh, but he will. He must. You know, he had the proper paperwork. So much. Thank you, thank you. We'll be back Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Kari, are you going back to? Are you on critical role anytime soon, man? I will. Can I say? All right, all right. I won't let him get out. It's good to see you, though, man. This is great. You guys are awesome. Billy, God, God, right man. Right? Billy West does Fry, Zoidberg, Sap Brannigan. Jellyfish. Chuck for jellyfish.
today from downtown Atlanta the first day the Thursday the kickoff of Dragon Con 2023 I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching the vlog is over